Maggie. First shot of the day. Alright guys, made a little trip down to this area where I saw some bulls a couple weeks ago. I'm with my cousin-in-law Travis and my brother Keith and I picked up a raghorn earlier and then we just got up onto this bench where we saw the bulls a couple weeks ago and lo and behold, the brown elk shed, just a big five. Nothing too crazy, but hey, it's a brown antler. We like that. Keith just found a brown elk shed. It's not the other side to mine, but it looks like it could be. It's not because it's the right side. Just like mine. We're getting into them now. Travis had a six point. I've got two. Yeah, and Travis just whistled at us, so we think he found another. We're starting to get into them. We were just coming through here and Keith looked back and spotted this brown. Might be the other side to my five. We'll take it off the pack and see. Just coming along through there and looked over into these aspens and got a hard white. Little sticks. Kind of buried, but decent shed. Heck yeah. Alright. Just a little six. Good mass to it, but nothing giant by any means, but we will gladly take that one. Sweet. Well, we were just glassing this hillside across from us and Keith just spotted a white sitting in the middle of some pines. So, looks like a pretty good one. Let's go pick it up. On our way up to get Keith and picked up a little white sixer. We're gonna struggle finding Keith in some thick stuff. All right, just made it up to Keith's shed. It's a pretty good one. Nice six. It's white, but it's in good shape. We're having a pretty good day. Just got over to this shed that I glassed earlier. And it's not even a shed. The burr, but all right, guys. I did not come prepared. My freaking memory card is full, and I do not have a backup memory card, so I'm gonna have to film the rest of this trip with my phone. Um, just walked up on another shed, I was coming down this trail, and look what we got right there. Travis just called me and told me that he found another. Brown six too, look at that. Bloody burr. Freaking sweet. That's my sixth of the day. Keith has four, and I believe Travis now has six as well. So, we're doing pretty well. Going the one I just saw, two more. On the way out. <laughs> Good brown. Well guys, today was just one of those epic days that you don't have very often. But when you do, they are amazing. We have 21 sheds total between the three of us, seven each. Most of them are browns. 
nothing too big, but hey man, picking up sheds is fun when it's like today. And it's like you go every half an hour and you're picking up a shed. It's pretty fun. So, sorry I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to. These, my stupid memory card filled up and I didn't bring an extra one. So I'm gonna have to use my phone the rest of this trip, but that's all right. Just as long as we get some Sweet shed pickups. That's all I care about. And I'm sure that's all you guys care about too. So stay tuned for some more shed action tomorrow. Day two out here shed hunting with my brother Keith. And Travis told us to go to this spot today. He couldn't hike with us today. We were kind of skeptical because we're pretty high up, but just walked up on a hard white. It's a decent little hard white five. It's a little bit busted on that back end, but it's about what we've been finding. We need to find some big bulls. That's what we're hoping for. Well, guys, we switched spots, so we just weren't finding anything other than that one little one that we found. And we got into this new spot and wasn't seeing a whole bunch of sign on the way up. And there's freaking boot tracks everywhere. It's just been kind of miserable snowing off and on. But we got way up in here. Just looked down the hill and there's a white five point. So I guess all these boot tracks must have missed at least this one. Hopefully they missed more. It is right there. It's a little dinky five. Kind of encouraging when you're seeing boot tracks you're not expecting to find anything so just goes to show they can't find them all oh my gosh guys all hope was lost we were hiking out of this place we're just heading down the trail i look over to my left nice brown elk shed baby yes yes look at that thing heck yeah Sweet. That's what we wanted. Yes. All right, guys. There it is. That's what we freaking came in here for. Look at that beam. That's a long beam. It's got to be over 50. Good mass to him. Doesn't look like an old bull. Kind of a small button. Man, he's got the look. That's a good looking bull right there. Broke his sword. We're gonna try to match him up real quick before it gets dark. All right guys, it's day number three. We packed up camp this morning and we were actually headed out. Then we decided to just do one more quick hike. So hopefully we can turn up some more antlers. I'll uh, turn this thing back on once we find one. All right, so yesterday Keith got skunked but today he's already got that one. We we're just working up into this really rugged, crappy hillside. And we've got a brown right where I saw some bulls a few weeks ago. And it is in an awesome spot. 
Let me show you guys. Check this out. Freaking hanging on the mahogany. Good brown six point. like yours from last night. Dang. I think that's the match to mine. <laughs> We're in a way different area. It wouldn't oh. surprise me, man. Dude, that's a stud bull. Good brownie. Heck yeah, man. That is badass. That's what we came in here for. One last send for a good brown. Hopefully we can match him up and find some more. Well, we're looking for Keith's other side and he just found another one. Good white five. <laughs> Looks like we're getting into him. Well, he is, I'm not. Well, Keith just freaking mashed up his bowl, we think. That's his shed from there. There he is right there. Yeah, that's gotta be him. I think we got his match. That's a good boy. All right, Keith, go ahead and scoop that big boy up. Look at that. Look at that bull. God, is that the match? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good looking bull. Like Either way, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to get them together and see if that's a match. But that's a stud bull. Look at that sword. Man, what a hammer. Good work. Oh, it's definitely a set. Man, what a stud bull. Good work. Oh, it's too bad he broke that sword. Keith is having a freaking day and I'm getting worked. I still don't have a horn and he's got four. <laughs> 